Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to extract the customer review from a e-commerce website, which is Flipkart. And we are going to work upon those reviews and do a sentiment analysis on that particular reviews that we got from the e-commerce website. So we're going to extract the reviews and work upon those reviews and do a sentiment analysis on that. Let's check how are we going to do that. It's an end-to-end -end project and we are going to do everything from the scratch. The website that I'm going to use is the Flipkart website. This is the Motorola G13 mobile product and this has good reviews which is 168 reviews and 1281 rating. Then we have too many good uh, reviews here which is of course mixed reviews which are very good and some are does the job. That's it. it's a neutral kind of a review. So we are going to take these review the product prices uh, 9999 9999 and we have 4.1 as a star rating. So how are we going to extract these reviews which is the terrific product and very nice mobile all these updates or the reviews that we have here. How are we going to do that? Let's check with that. As our objective is to extract this particular data. So we are going to right click and go to inspect. And here I have the div of the or the container. Those who understand a little bit of HTML, these are the containers in which the data will be updated or the details will be updated. So this is one of the container which is div and span is also the container. So we have this. Let's just copy this. We will need this. Okay, let's not take the stars. Let's just take the words of it. And this is the paragraph. And we also need this uh, comments of those, not just the headline. So we'll just take this one as well. So now we have the main container and we have these two. This is the paragraph and these are the two things that we need to extract from the uh, HTML file or the HTML link rather. So let's see if this is the same for all the comments that we have here. Let's check this. So for this one, which is highly recommended, which is two uh, underscore two NZT, this is correct. And uh, let's go to this review. And let's check this again. This is the same. So we have the same thing here, which is said and uh, so this is something good that we can have to use this to extract the data using find all uh, option or the syntax on Python. So let's have these data ready. So let's go to our Python uh, web collab. I'm going to use Google Collab and I have all these sections. I've already worked on this project to get the output. So let's just do it again uh, one by one. Let's start our process using the link that we have from the Flipkart. So this is the link. Let's take this link. Let's import all the necessary libraries. Okay, so now uh, we ran all these libraries. So now let's start with our next process of extracting the data from URL. I'm going to use the link. So let me just mention my link here. So this is the link that I'm going to use. And I'm going to add these content uh, in the end so that the page number uh, so that it scrolls to the next page and get the data from the next page as well to say the time i'm just going to type in and then show it to you so this is what it is so all reviews so we are going to check the reviews for almost all the uh, range uh, which is 1 to 5 and we can increase that to 20 we have too many reviews for this product so we can just select this as maximum 20 to just uh, get all those data but for now to check the output we can just mention it as 3 just to check if this output is working or not if we mention 20 it will take really long time to get the output so let's just keep it 3 here at this point and this is the link that I'm going to extract the data from and the URL source is equal to page number uh, and then we are going to scroll to the page numbers and then let's request this 
now let's extract the data from the website using beautiful soup so for that the soup is equal to beautiful soup and the content and then you can either use lxml or html underscore parser so you can use both both the ways it works fine and to extract the reviews so this is what we have in our notepad so we i'm just going to take these two which is uh, the uh, the paragraph which is to be paragraph and the class for this and the next is this one the div of it which is the container and which has got this as a class id so i'm going to use these two and trying to extract the data which is find all so that the soup will find all those which is related to this class so this will go to the next one so once the review is extracted it will take the next review and just gets its ads on so that there is a looping system happening here and then let's just check all those reviews so once this has happened this is for the first uh, class the, the main heading that we have and this is a sub heading that we have so we are just going to take this first and then we are going to get the next data so this is how the data would look like so let's check how this works let's print the data okay so this is how this looks like so just ignore these uh, slash n so once once we extract this in a csv or a text file these won't come these won't be appearing in our file so we can just ignore it in the in this uh, interface so this is the data that we have here uh, so let's just see what it is here this is the terrific purchase high rec highly recommended so these are the ones which we have here terrific purchase terrific purchase once we have extracted all the main headings that's when it just goes to the next heading next comment and it extracts the next comment there and these are the ones the highly recommended that does the job just wow so this is what does the job just wow highly recommended so this is what we have extracted now and a very nice product so there are some ta uh, smileys and uh, emojis here okay so these are the ones which is already extracted but we see that there is read more read more to everything and in the end okay so this has to be removed so this has to be cleaned when we while when we do the data cleaning we can just remove all these and uh, emojis we have to remove that using another extract um, step now i have this extracted into the csv file let's just run this into a csv file now now i ran this into a csv file this is in the csv file format now let's check how our csv file looks like uh, i have now opened my csv file this is not how it exactly extracts the data uh, we uh, as we saw that they were read more and other options here and there were spaces in between which have removed the spaces and also removed those unwanted text which was read more which was commonly occurring on this file so i made the data cleaning i've done a little bit of a data cleaning and then i've uploaded this reviews.csv back into the drive and now i'm going to use the, this uh, file for our future extraction and future sentiment and analysis my content mounted so now i can access my drive and extract the file from the drive now we completed our first step of extracting the data let's now start with our sentiment analysis using the csv file which we have just downloaded we need some more libraries to work on the data and do the sentiment analysis so let's run all the relevant libraries now now let's use the stop word stop word is the option where we can remove all those unwanted repeated or those um, letters like this is and all those things which does not make any sense to the format or to the overall meaning of the uh, text that we have we just need to understand the sentiment of it is this was this were something that we don't have to really understand it just not it only tells about the word we don't really understand the emotions so we just this uh, this topper will only remove all those words which is not really needed for this analysis and uh, we have vader lexicon so this is really required for a polarity scores to check the positive negative and the subjectivity scores and we have to load the data from the drive path which i mentioned here so i've already uploaded that uh, reviews 
file which is cleaned data which I have removed the spaces and the unwanted uh, text from the file and I've uh, loaded that in my drive and I'm going to use that as the path and this is the stopper which will run the stopper on the extracted data and then which will do the sentiment analyzer uh, so let's just name it as Vader which is the sentiment analyzer and let me run this it's done now so we have created these columns so um, as of now we just have only these two columns in our CSV file so now we are going to create another few more columns here with this data now we have all these columns created let's start extracting the data and let's start analyzing and working upon the text file as we have multiple rows in our CSV file, so to go to each row one after the other, let's loop the formula, loop the condition. Now we have the extra characters or the unwanted characters removed. So we have a clean text and then this is what we have in our patterns or the reviews uh, file. On the clean text, let's use the tokenization and then let's use this word is equal to NLTK or tokenize and this will take everything into the lower case and we have the cleaned text now and everything is now combined here and uh, this is what the vader will do this will check the polarity scores for these cleaned data and now let's just for segregate this as compound positive and negative scores now we have all these extracted data appended into the data frame that we have and this is going to extract the data into a new data frame and we are going to pull this out and we, are, we can extract the file. Let's check the output and understand if we receive the right output that we are looking for. Let's run this command. Okay, so we ran this command and without any error we were able to get this command work well. Okay, so we have our ID, that is how it was in our uh, CSP file, and we have our reviews, and now these are the four columns which was uh, which has now been uh, created using this append formula, and we're using this uh, data frame, and now we have all these data updated here, and this is the positive negative scores and the overall sentiment score, and this is the subjectivity score of that particular uh, word or the sentence that we have here. Now we have extracted the data or the reviews from the website and we have done a sentiment analysis on the data using the CSV file. So next step is doing the data visualization and let's understand how the data looks like now. We can also check the complete uh, data, what is the complete uh, data shape. So let's uh, run the output of our data. Okay, so we have nine, nine, 199 rows and 6 columns. Alright, so this is how our data shape looks like. Let's check the sentiment counts. So we have a column named sentiment. So let's check the count of it. Output underscore df sentiment okay dot value underscore counts okay oh, this is because of this okay right. all right so we have this one here and we got one uh, one uh, points we have 54 uh, row sentences which has got one point and we have 17 uh, rows or 17 rows which has got zero scores which is completely negative and these are the mixed ones so there are few quite a few here and uh, we have all these number of uh, data here so this is what we have here let's put a histogram plot, uh, graph to understand this better so we already have the snsc burn uh, already okay so I got the C1 imported already so let's start with this 
sns dot his plot sns dot his plot output underscore df uh, I think I'll have to put this as kd which is kernel density estimate is equal to true all right so we have this here so we have this here so this this is how the histogram looks like so almost uh, there we have quite a few which has got one rating or one score which is a very positive score and this is a less score so let's have a count of all this complete positive and complete negative scores so that it will be easy for us to understand let's just do some the um, negative positive and negative scores and negative scores negative scores okay and uh, so let's just make it as positive underscore sum is equal to underscore dear positive score dot and let's just do the same thing for negative this one so let's just create a bar graph so we have this as a plot size where the size of six four and then we let me just title this as overall score and what we need here is the positive score that we have here and the negative score and then the positive sum and the negative sum so let's just uh, get the data okay. so now we have this so as uh, if we have already checked that today we had quite a few of the positive scores and very less of the negative scores so now we have it very clearly shown here that uh, almost a uh, maximum amount was 90 percent is positive scores and a little negative scores so we have already checked that the product has got very good reviews and there have been too many positive scores and a very less negative score as we have already seen that the, this product has got too, too many good reviews, too many positive reviews and very less negative reviews. So let's check the word cloud and let's see the words that are popping up with all the positive feed, feedback and the negative feedback. Now, uh, I've already updated this command. So I've already returned this command and uh, let's just execute this. Let's execute the next step of this command. Okay, so we see that uh, multiple times the product, good, best, awesome. So these are the words phone. So obviously we are, we're talking about phone. So this word will be repeated too many times. And nice. And these are the ones which have been repeated too many times in the customer's review. So this is what we can see here. These are the positive ones. And these are the super, good, good, best, nice these are the positive scores which has been repeated in our positive review scores from the customers for this product let's do the same for the negative words as well so now we have these many scores for negative words into the negative reviews so these are the ones which says that bad quality product and uh, this is waste useless so there's few complaints about cameras and few of it did they say that it's a waste of money and uh, this is just a okay, okay product so these are the comments which we can see from horrible is little less very few have mentioned horrible here uh, so these are the ones which we can see as a negative comment from the customers and which are a little uh, repeated so these are these are the ones which we can see these are the comments uh, but we have already checked that um, the graphical interpretation shows that the product is actually good and too many people have given very good reviews on this product so as this is what it shows as 4.1 star for this product so this is our analysis using this uh, customer review and we have done sentiment analysis and we have also uh, have you also got all these information about positive scores and the uh, word cloud for all those words which have been repeated as positive and negative.